don't know how I'm going to do this. I don't know how I'm going to tell you guys this huge news. But has to be done. So chose a uh, spot that has some cool significance to me and the channel. It's right at sunset. So let's go ahead and uh, roll the intro and I'll, uh, I'll share this news with you guys. So, it is a lovely 82 degrees out right now, here in the Fun Spot parking lot in Orlando. You guys should uh, recognize this parking lot for uh, a couple of reasons. There's probably actually quite a number of you that recognize this parking lot. Um, a couple of my most played videos, uh, the How to Ride series, was recorded in this parking lot. So. I felt that it was a very fitting place to uh, to come and share this news with you guys. This parking lot, obviously, lots of significance behind it. Many of you guys are on the channel because of it. I feel comfortable in this parking lot because anytime I've ever been here, I don't think I've ever really been harassed. You know, you've got these people that uh, that drive these I ride trolleys and they pretty much leave me alone and you know let me do photographs and you know let me ride around rip around the parking lot and i've never been hassled by these fun spot people and you know it's just a really cool backdrop for uh for a video you know you got some roller coasters in the background fun spot's pretty iconic for orlando everybody i mean most people that live in central florida know the whole tagline fun spot it's huge they've got some uh kind of goofy commercials it's a nice it's a nice area i really like this this lot because um it's it's open you know like we're we're smack dab in the middle of orlando universal studios is like right across the street i4 is right there i drive is right there so this is like tourist central usa right here right but this area for some reason this this spot uh is kind of like a, a quiet place quiet i say quiet a quiet ish place in the middle of the city and i say quiet you know, that obviously <laughs> is uh, subjective depending on where you're at. You know, if you're in the middle of the woods in like Maine, it's going to be super quiet. But, you know, for, for us, this is a little piece of quietness for, for me, rather. Even though you've got like some roller coasters out in the distance, you just don't have the traffic and it's a comfortable spot. A lot of good videos, a lot of sentiment that's it's come to the channel because of this parking lot. So I felt like it was a good location to come and drop... Uh, kind of a bombshell on you guys. I'm sorry if I'm procrastinating. Um, I'm kind of really debating <laughs> in my own head if I'm even ready to tell you guys. And I, I, I just I don't want to string you guys along, so I'm just gonna say it. But um, I've recently come to the realization that I have a problem, and. Yeah, I'm sorry. That, um, yeah. Recently come to the realization that I have a problem. And you guys need to know about it. Uh, I need to come clean about it. Ms. Blockhead already knows about it. You know, my close friends know about it. And I consider, I consider many of you guys, you know, that watch the channel, I, like I consider y'all friends. Because it's like I'm, I'm talking to y'all, you know. It's like y'all are along... <laughs> along for the ride you guys are down for the journey through uh throughout whatever it is that we're going through you know i've shared an absolute ton of stuff on the channel from you know the the good times and the bad times from going through hardships like with my family but then also the good stuff of you know you know, like miss blockhead learning to ride and you know cool opportunities that we've been given because of this channel so let me just say first and foremost that I'm incredibly grateful for all of you guys. Um, yeah, I'm incredibly, I'm incredibly grateful for all of you guys. All of y'all that hit the subscribe button, all of y'all that uh, feel as connected as you do with the channel. It means a lot to me. Um, it really warms my heart whenever I read that many of you guys out there you know, I guess like the channel so much because you say it's like talking to a friend or riding with a friend or, you know, that I'm just like 
a normal dude. Still to this day, it surprises me that many of you guys hit the subscribe button, but as I've said previously, I'm not going to argue it. I greatly appreciate it. And uh, I'm grateful for, for the lot of you. And I'm grateful for the community that's shaped up around the channel. Jesus. Come on, blocks. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm really, I'm really procrastinating here. I guess before we lose, uh, before we lose daylight entirely, I'll, I'll go ahead and go ahead and tell you guys. I've, uh, I've tried to think about a couple different ways to share this news with you all. And like, I've, I've, I've shared this news kind of previously. And as a, as a content creator, it's hard to continue to find new ways to, uh, I don't know, to, to cause things to continue to pop, you know, to keep attention. Um, you know, I talked about getting at creator burnout a while back and there's other creators that I've seen. They're just like, screw it. You know, they, and they don't put as much effort into their content. I can understand that, but like, I don't want to, there's some things, this is one of those things that I don't want to settle. You know, I don't want to just be like, you know what? I'm just gonna just, here you go. So the, the news is, and I say it with a, uh, a very heavy heart, but like I said, I feel that you guys should know because because this y'all are important to me. You guys are what make the the blockade community. So I feel that you should know this problem that I've got. Um, it's easily fixable, but I need to address it. I need to admit it. I need to be accountable to you all. And that problem is that I'm a. Uh, I'm a, I'm a bikeaholic. I'm sorry guys, I can't, I can't help myself sometimes. It's uh, something that whenever certain opportunities <laughs> come up. <laughs> All right, it's really hard to keep a straight face after saying that. <laughs> uh, I'm breaking character. Okay, let's get back to it. <sighs> okay. Oh shit, is that a turkey? I think that's a turkey. That is totally a turkey. All right. Back to back to normal <laughs> back to normal blockhead. I'm a bikeaholic, guys. Um, I recently had this opportunity come up with a motorcycle, and I could not pass it up. I, I just could not say no. And to me, this parking lot was the perfect place to come and talk to you guys and tell you about it because it has such sentiment. So this lot has tons of sentiment. This recent opportunity that came across my path has tons of sentiment. I hope you guys are as excited about it as I am. I am absolutely stoked, stupid excited about this opportunity. Before I totally ruin it and bore you guys to death, I'll go ahead and show you. That's right, that is a Harley Davidson Iron 883. And if you guys look closely, you will see some things, if you've been around the channel for a while, you'll see some things that really should stand out to you, such as the, <laughs> the most telltale sign, the Imperial sticker there, the, uh, the breather, the intake, the pipes, the Paris seat, the headlight grill, <laughs> so much of it. That's right, boys and squirrels, this is my OG Harley Davidson Iron 883. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed some of those experimental cinematic shots. We were playing around with smoke bombs. You know, I thought that would be cool. So yeah, this opportunity came up my way. I've got a couple videos that you guys are gonna be seeing coming up. 
in the next few uh, few days, few weeks, showing you guys the process of me uh, reacquiring my original Iron 883. I mean, it's just unbelievable to me that, <laughs> that me and this bike are reunited because I feel like that never happens. That you never really get the opportunity to get your like your original bike back. So when this opportunity came up, like I said, sorry guys, I'm a bikeaholic. I could not pass it up. I talked to Miss Block about it. She was all about it. And uh, here we are, back where it all started. And I cannot wait to see where this journey with this original bike that started it all takes us. Let's get back before it gets too, too dark out. There's a couple things we gotta fix up on her, such as uh, the green oil light. This little bracket underneath is came loose, so I gotta fix that up. And we're gonna start her up so you guys can hear it. Hear that same old sound. I debated doing that old intro sequence. You guys know this one for this video, but that would have totally given it away. All right, ready? Needs a new battery. <laughs> it almost didn't start. Well, that would suck. Spoiler alert, I'm gonna be doing a third episode or uh, part three of the How to Ride series with this bike in this parking lot. And it's gonna be going over advanced clutch and throttle and shifting. I figure it's kind of fitting seeing as how I have this bike back and I've been wanting to record that episode forever. So we'll come back into this parking lot. We'll start off part three of the How to Ride series that has been so crazy successful on the channel because of you guys, so thank you. Anyways, that's the news, guys. I, uh, I honestly, like, I kind of racked my brain for a while on, like, how to do the reveal for this bike. Like I said, it's got a ton of sentimental value to it, and so I knew it had to be something special, but, you know, it couldn't be something that, like, is normal, traditional. So I hope you guys kind of enjoyed the little twist on it. started getting choked up there for a little bit I kind of tapped into some of my like acting I guess like I've never I've never been an actor but <laughs> I was I was honestly making myself choke up there <laughs> so yeah that's what you guys heard there me getting all emotional that was that was for real man I was tapping into some kind of emotion that I didn't even know I had not to say I'm emotionless but you guys know what I mean Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, I'm gonna be posting up another video. I filmed basically like the entire process of me finding out about the motorcycle, going to buy the motorcycle, loading up the motorcycle, and uh, also filmed my first ride on it. So no, this is not my first ride. This is probably like my third or fourth ride since I've had the bike back. Obviously there are some things done to it since I sold it such as these Z-bars instead of drags, which we'll talk about those in a future episode. And we'll also talk about what some of the plans are for the Iron 883 in a future episode as well. If you guys are excited, if you guys are as stoked as I am, if you guys are glad to see this bike back on the channel, be sure to hit that like button. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like. If you're not subscribed already, hit subscribe, hit that bell icon so it sends you notifications, future uploads, and activity. Until next time, you guys ride safe out there, stay vigilant, watch out for potholes, catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.